This is Little Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you how to make something by revamping stuff you could find around your home. And today it's the turn of these, bars of soap. But with a little bit of fingertips know-how, we're going to show you how to turn soap from these boring bars into these deliciously tempting lolly stick soaps. They look good enough to eat and because they're made from fruity soaps, they smell good too. Now, the brilliant thing about these lolly stick soaps is these handy lolly stick handles. So you can say goodbye to slippery soap sagas and control your sumptuous soapy suds. And we give these a fingertips difficulty rating of three. To make your colourful lolly stick, you need to get your fingertips on a selection of different coloured glycerin soaps, a lolly stick, a waxed paper cup and a measuring jug. The first thing you need to do is secure the lolly stick inside the waxed paper cup. This is going to be the mould for your lolly stick soap. And to do that, you need two pieces of sticky tape. Take the first piece and stick it across the top of the cup on one side like that. Then take the second piece of tape and stick it to the end of your lolly stick, leaving a bit flapping like that, so that when you put the lolly stick inside the cup, you can fasten the two pieces of sticky tape together. You'll be needing these, Stephen. I certainly will, because for one of your lolly stick soaps, you need three traffic light colours, one colour for each stripe. Now, one bar at a time, you want to chop it into chunks. And when you've completely chopped each bar up, you place them one at a time into either a microwavable bowl or jug, and then place that into a microwave. Thank you. And in it goes. That goes in for 30 seconds. And when it's melted, take it out of the microwave. And this way you've got to be really careful because the soap is really hot. Pour it into your cup. And there you have your first stripe. Now you leave that to harden for about an hour. And then you can build up your second colour. And again, you leave that for an hour. And then you do your third colour. And when the third layer has set, you've got deliciously fruity lolly stick soap it actually smells really good and you can be as creative as you like and make as many stripes as you like we've made some using two colors they look just as good but check this out using a larger lolly stick and a larger cup you get an impressive eight stripes the only thing you have to be careful of now is where you leave your lolly stick soap they're so tempting they're almost edible yes what are you doing what oh. uh, it's a real lolly what he thinks. Oh, I don't think I want any more of this. 